The purpose of this video is to demonstrate how to pull diagnostic data off of a MindConnect Nano. If your Nano is experiencing an error, as seen here, viewing the diagnostic data will help to identify the issue. Additionally, if you contact Siemens for help with your Nano, they will almost certainly ask you for a copy of the diagnostic data in order to help them locate the problem. A variety of commands can be executed on the Nano using a special file named conbox underscore commands dot json. One of the available commands will cause the Nano to write diagnostic data to the USB drive. This data can then be read and analyzed from a computer. To create the file, navigate to your flash drive and create a new file named conbox underscore commands dot json. The file name must be exactly correct or the Nano will not recognize the file. Open the file using Notepad and paste the text included in the description of this video into the document. Then save the file. As an alternative to creating the file yourself, you may also use the link below to download a working copy of this file. Now, insert the flash drive into port x63 of the Nano. Once the LEDs have returned to their previous state, you may remove the flash drive. From your computer, navigate to the flash drive. As you can see, several files have been written to it. I have found that the most useful log files are found in the logs.tar.gz file. In particular, the mindedge runtime system.log and mindedge runtime system underscore diagnostic.log files have proven to be the most useful. Let's take a look at these files. Here, you can see many of the diagnostic messages that have occurred recently. It appears that something may be wrong regarding our FP2328 one second data source. Some of these files may be hundreds of thousands of lines long. Let's look for something out of the ordinary. Here, you can see a message stating that a, a data reading failed due to a timeout. We can also see which data source the Nano failed to read. Scrolling up a little further, we find a similar message. A few lines below, there is another error about the same data source. Here, we can see that the read operation timed out after 38 seconds, which is a very long time. Based on what we've seen here, we can assume that either the PLC mapped to the data source in question is offline, or that communication has been lost between the PLC and the Nano. Further investigation of this issue revealed that this machine had been temporarily shut down. Browsing through the other diagnostic files on the flash drive may lead you to discover additional useful information.